Okay, pals, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series action figure review. Uh, this time, we're going to be looking at the Dark Lord of the Pitch himself. It's only Darth Vader, and this is the best deal I've found so far. So let's uh, have a look at the figure here, up close. I find your lack of faith in Hasbro disturbing. <sighs> well, I tell you what. Uh, they really knocked it out of the park with this one. You can tell they put a little more love and reverence and care into the manufacture of this particular figure. Uh, as you can see, he's wearing a cloth cape rather than plastic. He's got cloth skirting, cloth strips here. Uh, this looks quite nice. Uh, looks so much better than had they just put molded plastic or, or vinyl back here. Uh, superb figure, folks. Uh, good articulation, inhibited only by the fact that he's wearing body armor. Nice posability, nice tight ankle joints, which is the one thing I care most about when it comes to uh, these modern 112 scale action figures, whether they'll stand up on their own without waking me up at 2 or 3 in the morning, falling off their, uh, off into the floor. But uh, good paint applications on this thing. You can see that they got the eyes right for an episode 4 uh, Darth Vader, and that's what this is molded off of. The packaging we'll look at, you can see it says 40th anniversary on it. And uh, I like the, the, the shape that this uh, particular hand is in. It looks like he's force choking any number of subordinates. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, all in all, folks, an excellent action figure. Now, I could do an entirely different review on the lightsaber because like all Black Series accessories, it's made out of a very rubbery plastic that gets bent up by the packaging itself, by the plastic bubbles, and it's not entirely straight. Uh, now, the, the blade is removable, and but the, the problem is at the hilt itself. There was some powder all over the blade, probably where they painted it at the factory. I just ran my thumb and finger up, and it, the red residue on my finger, but that's sorted now. I, that That's not an uncommon issue, I don't think, as far as you know this type of uh, plastic. But again, despite being slightly bent there, it, it, it does look pretty nice, folks, I have to admit. And I know, based off a few of my last uh, videos, everyone th seems to think I hate Hasbro. That's not the case at all. Uh, I just, I just wish they would. Uh, uh, I just wish they would provide a better value for money. And they did so with this figure. And let's go ahead and have a look at the packaging that this came in. Like I said, this is this is the, one of the most incredible deals I've ever gotten on an action figure. Uh, for some reason. Uh, this figure included with this gift set in this exact same packaging is less expensive on the aftermarket than the exact same figure in the exact same blister pack sold separately. It's weird. I, I don't understand it. But this is called the Legacy Pack. And again, I think this was produced back in 2017. Look at the silver sticker there on the corner. Uh, I got this as part of a lot at an extremely low price. I think we've seen most of those figures by now. Um... You might recognize the artwork on the front of this. Uh, back in 1977, uh, no one expected Star Wars to be the, run the runaway hit it turned out to be. There were no toys available for purchase at Christmas time. So what Kenner did was sold kids an envelope that looked very much like this called the Early Bird Kit. It included some stickers and some goodies on the inside, some paper product. But it also included uh, a certificate you mailed in to receive the first four Star Wars action figures when they were finally ready. And I think it might have been February of 1978 when those were finally ready. And I I'm, I think the first four figures might have been uh, Luke, Princess Leia, R2-D2, and Darth Vader. Is that correct? I'm sure someone will correct me if it's not. But you know, these things weren't readily on the shelves at stores until 1978. Uh, but, again, for some reason... Uh, it's you get a better value by purchasing this large kit than you do just by purchasing this same figure on that same blister card in there uh, sold separately and i don't understand that but uh there's uh, some other goodies in this box and i'm just flipping over to show you what's in there because i haven't even opened that side of the box yet there's a cardboard and plastic stand you can put together and display your uh 112 scale figures on uh they did something that's very similar in the early bird certificate if i'm not mistaken um, but that looks pretty cool. I don't have room for this right now. Maybe someday if I do, I'll, I'll get this out and assemble it and put some Star Wars figures on it. But, back to the figure itself. Uh, again, I don't know if this was just a, a, a repackage of a, of a figure that already existed or if this was a brand new uh, sculpt. I'm not sure. Um, what I do know is that it's, it's quite a nice action figure, folks. It, this does feel like a step up. 
from some of the uh, other figures in the collection. But yeah, quite nice. Happy to have it, and got a great deal on it. Uh, we'll say that that's about as well as he can hold his lightsaber. As you, I mean, he's holding it. It's not going to fall out of his hand, but I, I can't grip it the way I want him to. And that doesn't have anything to do with the the hilt being bent. So it's just the way he grips it. Again, as much as I like these, I'm not going to let little things like that slide, folks. And you're just going to have to accept that. Uh, that's not being a, a jerk. That's just that's just you know consumer advocacy. You need to know the good and the bad here, okay? But yeah, it's a great little action figure, and it displays quite nicely. Um, eventually, I hope to get a, a Bespin Luke to put alongside him on a stand. That would look pretty good. Okay, well, there he is, folks. Darth Vader. Great figure. And uh, may the Force be with you. Talk to you again real soon. Take care.